Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to Snow Plowing Simulator. Here we are for another episode. Just on the little tractor with our snow plow attached to the front, heading down to the fuel station. Now I'm going to throw in a time lapse here between um, us getting from here to the fuel station, just to show you guys what I did in the in the um, pickup truck. I went and cleared, I think, all the roads that I could possibly clear. Um, cleared this road. Cleared. Uh, was it? that road I don't know if, no I don't think it was this road I think it was this road down through here and then this road up through there so we've cleared water drive faith avenue and also the hill highway haven't done um a juniper way as yet we've got um the school playground up there which we've unlocked to clean we've got the cemetery which we can do as well and also the gas station down the bottom of the hill down here so let's bring you guys in for a quick little intro I set up heading down to the fuel station to take care of that as this episode I'm going to throw in a time lapse now and show you guys what I did in the pickup hopefully it actually turns out pretty good I don't know how it's going to go but fingers crossed it'll be pretty good and um yeah I'll see you guys back here once we're back to the fuel station after this time lapse and we'll um get stuck into that job and hopefully make some more good money <laughs> Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad, I'm like I might grab a bat, I don't know My wrath, my blood boils over like Oh God, here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed? Switches how you see things Realize something needs change Cause I know you got me up Let me show you what's up Enough is enough I'll take a face full of pavement Just to make a statement I know there's no turning back Oh God, adrenaline wasted So mad I can taste it I know there's no turning back I'll do what it takes I ain't making mistakes like that I'll play it on your face To make you go take it back I'll lose my shit I go crazy when I'm mad Playing got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice send the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Top. 
guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that time lapse. So here we are just arriving at the service station now, the petrol station. So let's um, have a look and see exactly what they want us to clear. So just the entrance and exit, I suppose. So the vehicles can get um, in and out. So let's maybe start here. Push our way through. Try and um, give ourselves a little bit of extra space. I did come through a little bit here and I've just tested out cleaning the little footpath just there to our left. Um, wasn't sure how long it would take us to get this job done. I don't think it's going to take us too long to be honest, especially using the tractor. So it's going to be a reasonably quick one. Right, so we'll go all the way through, we'll go out the other side, and then we'll we want to make sure we clear the driveway completely. I don't know if it's going to give us a complete clear of the driveway, cleaning it. Yeah, that's interesting. It's not going to give us the full, proper clean. We're not going to bother about those guys that have electric vehicles, not bugger those. I think that's electric stuff just there. We're not going to worry about those guys. Nobody cares about people that drive electric vehicles. Alright, so we get all this cleared. Um, you can see our temperature up the top, 36.4 degrees. We've actually got um, a thermos on us as well, so I have actually purchased that. I don't think I've picked up any better clothing yet. So I'm going to have to definitely look at that as well once we start making a little bit more money. So we're already at 35%. Might as well say 35%, so job shouldn't take too long. Alright, so I just want to clear this outside path a bit better, and then we'll um, focus on, on on underneath the awning there and getting all this cleared out. Alright, lift this up. I'm gonna, just going to push it this way for now, because I want to try and clear this driveway a bit better. It's not giving us a full, a full clearing doing it that way. Like the driveway's still got a little bit of snow as we enter. I don't know if that's going to matter any, but... Alright, we might as well go long ways up this way. Try and tidy that up as well, that little bit we've missed. Obviously, it's not like the road. The road will... Oh no, there we go. We're still pushing snow off to the side. That's fine. The road definitely did that a lot more than it did just then. But we'll come back and we'll just touch up those little bits as we go. Alright, bring you up and then we'll try and get this little bit pushed. It should just completely disappear because there's not a great deal there. Yeah, perfect. Alright, and then we'll Push our way through, and then we'll start going um, left and right once we get through the other side just here. Right, there we go. Try and push that to the left. We have to go up and down as well once we've done that, so it's not going to really matter too much, but it's definitely a lot quicker doing it this way than using our um our hand tools and stuff that's for sure right let's go this way we've just got to get past the bowsers fuel bowsers there obviously long run the other way as well but Right, perfect. Let's push it. Sometimes it's got the weight there, sometimes it doesn't, which is interesting. Alright, so hopefully, um, I said you guys have still been enjoying this series. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the um, time lapse. Um, let me know if it was good or bad, if you want to see more of that or less of that. It's only for the big, uh, the big road jobs, I suppose. I'll do a time lapse. I don't really need to time lapse any of the, these sorts of jobs. We should get these done reasonably quick, I think. It's just mainly the um, like the big jobs, the big roads and stuff that take, I think it took me about 40 something minutes to get all that done. Um, 
in the time lapse. So it still does take quite a while to actually get through that on the road, even with the car. Obviously with a bigger plough and better tyres and stuff, it probably would be a little bit easier, but... But, um, it's not too bad. 40 minutes, and obviously the car doesn't actually limit your speed. I'd like to see when you drop the blade down, the, the plough down on the front of the vehicles, it would limit your speed. Whereas in the, um, in the pickup, you, we just, I just went flat out. Like, I didn't even have to slow down at all. Which was, um, interesting. So having it so it gives you a maximum speed, you can actually travel while ploughing, would be a lot better, I think. Obviously, no one in real life is going to jump behind the wheel of a truck with a plough on the front and do 50, 60 mile an hour while ploughing. This is not going to happen. So it'd be good if they could actually implement that in into the game itself, but I don't know how they'd actually go about doing it. Right, so we're at 83.5%, so we're not far off getting this one done. I wasn't sure how long this would take. Alright, perfect. Let's swing around. Still 36.3 body temps. That's pretty good. We're not going through any calories at all driving this thing, which is a little bit disappointing. We should still be going through calories because obviously as as a as a male, I think we burn through like 2,400 calories a day just to survive, just to live. And I think females are like 1,800 calories or 2,000 calories or something. So we should still be burning calories anyway. Even if we're not actually doing any physical labour, we're still burning calories to survive. Alright, so we got 96.6%. So it's only this couple of passes here and then that little bit to our left as well. I want to definitely make sure we try and get 100% if we can. Make sure we don't miss that bit. Perfect. Right, ninety-eight and a half percent. About ninety-nine point four. Just this little bit. I think we've got most of everything else. Might be a couple of little spots somewhere that we've sort of missed, but that's pretty good. Ninety-nine point nine to one hundred percent. Happy with that. Now the letterbox should be where to stand to the left. Right, jump off this thing. Yes, yes, I know, I've done it. Right, done. Uh, 30 minutes 26, which isn't accurate, obviously, because I did some stuff and then went away and come back, so that doesn't really count. Four and a half thousand. Wow. That's pretty bloody good. Four and a half grand. Now, there's nothing else here that they want us to do. Assuming we're going to do some other stuff later on. Quickly look at the map. We've got, um, obviously, the cemetery up here. We've got the school playground. So we could probably try and head off and look at one of those. Um, all I want to do is pretty much just try and get some extra snow off the road. Actually, we should probably... Wrong button. We could probably... Have a drink out of our thermos anyway. Right, oh, there we go. Might as well run with the blade down because you run just as fast with the blade down as you do with the blade up, so it's not going to matter too much. If I press Q, you can still see little bits on the road that we haven't quite hit, but we still got 100% when I finished all those tasks as well, so looks like we've missed some stuff here, but we definitely got 100%. See, because of the size of the road leaving little blue bits like that really doesn't make any difference at all. Alright, so what I'll do guys is I'll throw in a quick cut here. I'll bring you guys back once we hit the cemetery and um, try and tackle that job and see how much money we make out of that. Another four and a half grand will be bloody nice. Alright guys, we're we'll pulling up to the cemetery now, so hopefully this won't be too big a job. Depends on what they actually want us to do. But as you can see, I've done this road as well leading up to the cemetery which is actually unlocked the cemetery itself right so let's pull up here jump on off uh, quick check max 1200 bucks yeah it's not too bad um, clear the snow from the cemetery itself just be careful it's a cemetery after all yeah, yeah scary 
trying to make me scared already, and I need to turned up. All right, so let's come on through. Might as well grab a quick screenshot while we're here. Try and push through in one big push. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty quick job. We're already at 20%, so obviously I'm assuming it's going to be like the other jobs that they're going to come back and say, we've got more snow on the property again. Can you come back and help? And um, have a little bit more to target than what we're actually targeting at the moment. I need to go for a bit of a walk around as well and have a look and see. Actually, I don't know why I've turned the blade that way. See if we can pick up any um, extra clues about the Yeti while we're in here. I hope we can get some extra clues, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Watch out for those gates as I smack straight into them. Right, try and push through. There we go. Oh, Jesus. The hell happened there? They just dro brought back a whole heap of snow. That's a weird... bit of a weird glitch. Yeah, that's very strange that they've done that. Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll go and push it through again anyway. Like a perfect straight line. It's very, very, very weird. All the way through to the church itself. Alright, let's head back. We'll get this left-hand side completed, then we'll need to focus on... I guess it's the... Jesus. The car park here, a bit to our right, where people can actually pull in and park their vehicles. Right, with any luck here, we don't have any issues. I'm going to jump off here and actually shut that gate. Put that back down. Perfect, this allows us to go through that a little bit easier. Right, let's push through. Oh, hitting something there. Ah, oh, it's like a little corner part. That's interesting because it's. can't bloody see it, but it's definitely there. Oh, there we go. Try and just backblade it. Probably not a good idea trying to back blade, but anyway. Right, 83.3%, so this one's going to be a really quick job. We've still got um, a couple of small jobs people have asked us to come back and help take care of, so we'll definitely need to look at that as well. But So now we've got this, um, this tractor. This is pretty much going to be the job we take, or the, the vehicle that we take everywhere now, because this will allow us to be able to take on a lot of those um, smaller jobs at people's houses and tackle them a little bit quicker than what we normally would using our handheld tools and that sort of thing. More of a gutter there again. Perfect. Yes, we know. We've already answered this question. Right, come on out and I'll flick the button. 8 minutes 33. 4800 bucks. Wow. This haunted character. Were you able to talk this haunted character? The priest has a lot of acquaintances in the city. Recommended you clear the snow from the property of the owner of the factory along with the access road. Yep, pick up truck and a plow. Okay, good. Done. Shut that. Uh, Abigail Blackwood should be here somewhere. Where's that next job? It's a question mark out there. Uh, that road there, Sheik's Road. So we'll be clearing that road, I guess. This road and that road to do. Uh, where's characters all the way? Out the back, I believe. Can't go inside. Right, no more jump scares, please. Ah, run away, this place is haunted like the surrounding mountains. Have you seen that's what's in the tombs? This is terrible. I see various signs. I feel it myself. I feel it my soul. That's true. Um, I've saw a lot of things in the area that philosophers have not dreamed of. Tell us more. You have to draw your own conclusions. Keep an open mind and eyes wide open, especially here. Wonders happen in some tombs. Oh, wonders. Evidence, evidence, evidence. Oh, let's go say more. Tell me more, in which tomb? What did you see? Oh no, you have to figure it out yourself. The only thing I will tell you is to pay attention to the open tombs. Vampires and ghosts? No, no, I'm not sh 
sure that Antichrist is the answer to these questions. This is an explanation that best suits all the phenomena and characters that I see. Um, I respect your opinion, but I invite you to experience these mountains yourself to see, feel, hear what I do. Maybe then you'll understand that Antichrist is not just a product of imagination. Evidence, evidence, evidence. Um, yeah, okay, let's go next. But what about personal experiences? I was there, I saw unexplained phenomena. I felt the presence of something disturbing. This is not just a story, it's something I've experienced in my own skin. She's freaky looking, isn't she? I respect your opinion, but I invite you to experience. Yes, okay, so come on. Going back to work. Okay, so open tombs. We'll see. Go for a bit of a wander. See, there's a marker over here. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. I don't really like jump scares. Uh, 20 meters, 15 meters. Ooh, wicket. Okay, so it's... It's actually shut. We can't do anything with it. Look at the map. That's interesting. There's definitely something in there we need to get. I just don't know how we would break in. I don't think shoveling the snow is going to make any difference at all, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's going to do anything. Okay, so we need to get in there somehow. Said to look at the open tombs, so go for a bit of a run around and look at all these, all these, and see if any are open. I don't think. So we can't click on that one. This is crazy. Oh, none of these. Have we got a torch? I think we do, don't we? Um, select tool. No, I don't think we do. Right, your shot. That's another big one there. Yeah, we need to be able to get in there somehow, but... Honestly, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think there's any other open tombs around or anything so I'm not sure when that gate will actually open or if we need to ask for a key maybe would have seen something up in the sky then yeah I literally cannot see anything Anything exciting, anyway. I think we're sort of going off track, trying to find... run around trying to find things everywhere. Let's have a quick chat with her again. Um, are you visiting me again? Continuing. Um, let's go evidence, evidence, evidence. Yeah, maybe you're right. Um, yeah, we've done all this, haven't we? We'll be careful. Go back to work. Search the crypts in the cemetery. We, we did that. Okay, maybe we have to... Jesus. Okay, so she sent us more documents, which is good. Let's see if we can actually get through and open this other one now. Aha, there we go. Chest there. First artifact, if it would be useful someday. So that's like... Wind and water, maybe? I don't know. That's, um... Water artifact. There we go. That's freaky as... Right. Do we get any other jobs from this? Um, that road, that road. There was no other extra jobs that we got, so let me quickly throw in a cart. I'll bring you guys back once we're back at our little warehouse office, and I'll um, go through how much money we've got, what we're going to buy, and what else we've got on that board. Right, guys, we're back. So let's um, quickly have a uh, yeah, drink of coffee. That's fine. We'll grab these documents that are out the front. 
have a go, Blackwood. We run fast when we just get outside. We go slow. We're in here again. Um, so if we look at this map again, we've got um, Roscoe O'Keefe. We've got um, the school playground as well. Uh, that's us. It's Ali Goodwin Jr. We should have a couple of roads, which we can't actually see on here. Don't think. Yeah, there should be some roads there. But anyway, um, let's flick this light on. Jeez, we've got lots of evidence and stuff coming in now, don't we? Uh, we've got the moon, we've got the fire, we've got the water up there. Lots of stuff here as far as the Yeti goes. It looks quite freaky. Um, to be honest, there's lots of stuff. Numbers and things over there. I've got no idea what they are all about. Well, let's quickly go back to our computer. Um, tires. So 5,000 for you. Um... So tractor, 2738, two grip size, uh, two, no, so that's chains so and that's chains. so that's 8,000. Uh, plows, we've got the next plow, we do 8,000, 8, okay, so it's 220 by 220. Um, so only for the pickup, that's 8,000, close, really want this one. Let's buy that. Uh, power ups, we don't need to worry about objects. We've got everything. I wonder if I should buy that. Or should we go the tyres first? I think the bigger plough would be better. Uh, what do you mean, too expensive? Alright. Buy a mountain we'll find in the wardrobe. Perfect. Let's grab this. Minus 50 and 5. So it depends on how cold it's going to be. Okay, yeah, very cold. All right. The courier has brought our new plow, which is just over there. Let's quickly open this up and go and check it out. Definitely need new tires in this thing. It just slides everywhere. Look at it. That's going to be our next purchase, I think, is going to be... Um, it's going to be some tyres for this thing that's quite um, quite slidey still we definitely need it to be better than what it currently is just seems to just want just wants to slide everywhere and it's not not ideal trying to do the roads especially trying to do the roads quick it's not um, not ideal but can we still fit inside yeah we can perfect right so shut that down let's uh Shut you, we'll open this one. We'll go and grab our other plow on this guy. It's going to stay on this one permanently now because we don't need it for um, our tractor. Sucks that I can't completely look behind me, this thing. But it's not too bad. Right, chuck that in. Shut the door. Quickly check on our messages. Yeah. So it's your crips, we've done that, so we've done all those, that's good, we don't need to worry about anything else. Right out guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode, if you guys did, as always, smash that like button. If you guys got any ideas, suggestions moving forward, what you do want to see, what you don't want to see, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.